just arrived today a second Sleepy Sounds Mickey Mouse Nightlight and a Sleepy Sounds Donald Duck Nightlight, both from 1991. Mickey will, of course, be going up for sale. Donald, I will be keeping. Of course, Mickey won't be going up for sale until after it gets a bit of a cleaning here. So I need some detail work to get all the little bits of gunk and dirt out there. Plus, though he works fine, I'm glad this is caught early. I will also have to do something about that little bit of battery gunk there. But, like I said, he is working at least. Put some batteries in and I'll show you. I think, yeah, we got them in the try me setting here. So you just have to push the button. full-blown demonstration video on this one when I am ready to put it up for sale. Meantime, unfortunately, Donald here is going to need some work. Let's go ahead and get him batteries. Got him on try me mode. Nothing at all. I did not get him in backwards, okay. Now nightlight mode. Yeah, I can see it glowing in there. And then motion sense mode. See, the motion sensor seems to be lighting up fine. says nothing right now but definitely sounds like the speaker just came disconnected there which should be pretty simple to fix hopefully we will see how this goes so before I go opening it up to uh, do the repairs. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it a little cleaning here. It's not too bad overall, though there's a few uh, deep spots I need to try and maybe uh, see what I can do with here using uh, just warm soapy water and some uh, dish soap and a toothbrush and uh, cotton swabs. Let's see what we can do here. So, so let's start with Donald himself. really weird is uh, when I discovered him on eBay uh, this was the only one available and in fact after a lot of researching and looking around he was the only one that existed anywhere on the internet 
toes. I got a feeling it's kind of rare and kind of rare too. No idea why so few of them out there unless they're just so cool people don't want to give them up. Anyway, let's give them a good rub down here. I am not going to video uh, cleaning up and restoring the Mickey one. Uh, its next video will just be the demonstration when it's ready to go up for sale. the rubbing alcohol or anything like that. I'm thinking when the Mickey Mouse one goes up for sale, I'm going to go ahead and swap out uh, one of the light bulb screws, just do a trade instead of trying to de-rust the one on the Mickey uh, Nightlight. I don't think that rust is going to be too big a problem for me, but might as well make it uh, look good for whoever's going to ultimately buy it. Like a wise man once said, I think it was the Apostle Paul, in all thine undertakings, my brethren, settleth not for an half-assed job. Instead, thou shouldst always endeavor to use it both cheeks. Uh, with the Mickey one, I'll probably at least settle for three-quarter ass. That, that should be good enough. And then, let's see. Though. The battery cover doesn't look too bad. A little bit of looks like old rust there, but I'm not going to really bother with that. So next up we'll be taking it apart and seeing if we can repair it, which we really should be able to. And so, with it cleaned up as best as possible, and even managed to uh, get a little bit of rust off of the screw hole in the battery cover using cotton swab and alcohol. It's now time to open this up and see if we can get it working properly. Just got 12 little screws to remove here, and of course I'm going to speed up the video uh, at this point. I really should have got a pill bottle lid or something to. Uh, store them in, but nah, I think they'll be alright. I'm just right next to me. I'll be careful. And yeah, I think this is the point where I will speed up the video, so I will shut up at this point until I got this, uh, got all these off here. Alright then. So all the outer screws are removed. I got a 
feeling the ones uh, holding the light covers in place do not need to come out. I'm, at least I'm hoping that's how it is. Okay, yeah, here we go. Very carefully. Alright. So, yeah. There is the speaker. It just came loose. Yeah. I think that is going to be fixable. get on that shortly. So the speaker was definitely disconnected and then there's this piece here that obviously goes to the speaker that was also disconnected from it. It was covered in this bit of dried epoxy or whatever this stuff is. But it looks like I think I might have to go ahead and open up the Mickey Mouse one just to get a look and see how this connects and figure out uh, how to fix it. So, I am just a little bit baffled here. What we're looking at is the speaker setup on the Mickey Mouse one. Oh, looks like a little, tiny little piece of circuit board or something with the, the wires soldered to it and then stuck in a slot right there next to the speaker. I'm guessing there's got to be something exposed on the side of the speaker there to make a little contact. Yet, uh, on the Donald here, uh, but before we do that, yeah, as you can see, it, uh, Trying again. And as you can see with the Mickey, uh, it's working just fine, even opened up like this. However, and I still have in try me mode like the Mickey one is, just pushing the button. I get lights. So it looks like this is going to be a two-parter after all.